Welcome back to the Fixed Ops Roundtable. Brian Pash is an extremely well-known figure within the retail automotive community, very respected. I like him because he grew up in New Jersey as well, and yeah, he's a, gr a great <laughs> retailer friend. Brian, welcome to the Fixed Ops Roundtable. Well, it is an honor to be here, and this is the first time that I've been on the roundtable, so thank you for the invitation and opportunity just to talk to a different audience about things that are exciting for dealers. Different in some ways, but the same in many ways as well. Um, sure. You know, we've got a lot of uh, dealers and general managers and decision makers, which I know you share uh, your audience as well with your events. And congratulations on the event that uh, just concluded here uh, in the last couple of days. Yeah, you know, Palm Beach is an amazing place to bring automotive professionals and the O Resort once again uh, met all the needs of the attendees and we had great discussions and uh, well, we're looking forward to 2023. We have a lot on our plate. Yeah, we've only got about a month and a half left in the year and then we're in 2023. So I got to tell you, Brian, at the last Fixed Ops Roundtable, the number one discussion that kept coming up over and over again was the phones. And it was not very scientific. It was how come we can't answer the phone? A lot of the basics, right? So um, I think that digital voice assistance right now is a very timely discussion. And I got to ask you, why do you think the topic is so interesting after all this time right now within our industry? I think a lot of it has to do with two factors. Number one, drive for reducing costs of operation. You know, the OEMs have been, well, reducing, uh, you know, warranty pay. They've been reducing rebates and incentives. They've been uh, backloading uh, payouts. And so uh, dealers are really laser focused on how do I reduce my operating expenses? And number two, labor. Um, the great resignation or the silent resignation is a real thing. And um, there isn't a dealer who's watching here uh, today that isn't struggling with finding people to fill holes. And what a digital voice assistant does is take those repetitive, easy, maybe even sometimes monotonous tasks off of the people that you want to retain so they don't, you know, want to jump out the window and uh, can focus on tasks that they can actually make more money on, which would be outbound calls uh, to contact consumers who uh, haven't been in a while for service. And you did a research report recently. I want to ask you about that. But before I do, uh, it's very well known in our industry that the phones ring more at certain times of the day than at others. And, uh, you know, that people want to get through at certain times, but that may conflict with the dealership employees being a lunch hour or a busy time as well. Yeah. So I want to encourage every dealer and every fix ops director who's listening uh, today to ask someone to show you the call volume analysis by hour of the day. Now, it may not surprise you that Google My Business is the number one uh, way in which consumers find the phone number of the dealership and on their mobile phones, they're clicking. Google provides a graph of the peak times for phone calls. That's one, right? Those are phone calls from search. And then of course, if you have a switch, you can also do that as well. And of course, it shouldn't surprise you that that 11, 12, one o'clock hour, the peak is there. And what do we do when we are understaffed or people call out sick or the BDC has problems? There has to be a backstop for dealers that is affordable. And that's where I think the digital voice assistants come in as a not only a stopgap, but as a new way to do business. And as you know, there are a lot of names out there now in this digital voice assistant category. I have to ask you, why did you decide to do the research report on Brook.ai specifically? Great. So, you know, for the last 10 years, we have uh, two, you know, consistent roles 
at uh, our organization. One is we give out uh, technology awards each year. They're called the AWA awards. And then we do research report. There's two types of research reports. One, where we believe that the industry is missing something and we're funding that research. And then others are funded by uh, the company like Brook AI uh, because they understand we have a unique perspective uh, and respect for the dealers. So we in partnership with a company, when we do a research, we say, look, we want freedom to talk to your customers. We want freedom to talk to customers who've left you. <laughs> we are going to talk to customers of other products. And what the research report does is twofold. Number one, gives a feedback loop to the company based on our research. And then we distill what we find and present it in a format that's much more meaningful than a case study. Um, it's really a tool for dealers to evaluate different technology platforms in a more holistic way. Wow. Brian, what stood out to you when you were speaking to those dealers uh, using Brook? I think the first thing is, is almost everyone said they didn't believe it was going to work. Uh, you, you know, just flat out. It's like, I don't use digital voice assistance myself. So I don't think it's going to work. And, and I try to remind dealers that when Facebook first came out, um, general mm -hmm. managers say, I don't use that uh, Facebook thing or a jigger. And um, I'm, I, I, mm -hmm. I don't use it. So I'm not putting money, you know, fast forward dealers spend thousands of dollars on social media advertising today, just because you don't use it or like it doesn't mean that the largest Fortune 500 companies use digital voice assistants all the time. So um, there's been some reluctance. So the number one first uh, common thread was didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> um, the second thing is they didn't realize how many dropped calls or missed opportunities they had. And I think that, um, and, and Ted, you've had uh, wonderful call tracking companies over the years as part of your roundtables, the call reviews, the car wars, the interactive tells, you know, these companies have been around a long time, call source, and, and they are pretty consistent on the high percentage of calls never get connected with the right person. What the digital voice assistant research showed us is that much of this data has been around for so long, but no one had a solution. Meaning if you looked at Car Wars presentation five years ago and today, it would probably show the same data. So what a digital voice assistant is doing is finally saying, here's a solution that would allow more of your customers to get exactly what they need on the first call. That's amazing. And um, you're so right in that uh, even the best dealers, Brian, they realize and have found that easily 25 30 35 percent of their phone calls most of which are going into fixed ops into that that service department do not get answered at the best of stores yeah and and it's not a matter of um these dealerships not wanting the best customer experience it's just when you are relying on physical bodies to be in a fixed place to pick up the phone well you know there's fire drills all day long in the dealership and the other thing I wanted to, to mention is that there are different ways in which a dealer can test this technology. Um, dealers who are a little reluctant uh, can say, well, listen, I don't want Brooke to be answering all the service calls. You know, I don't want Brooke to be the, the number one. I want to put in a voice tree that says, you know, press one to schedule a new service or change a service, number two, to check on the status of your vehicle, number three, you know, order parts. Maybe, maybe they start with the phone tree as just handling those uh, service appointment bookings. But what you'll find out is that uh, Brooke is able not only to book appointments, but to do upsells, to look up recalls, right, to help uh, the consumer book, a loaner. I mean, there's a lot of other layers, but what I want to encourage dealers is um, you can do some testing just to see how many additional appointments you can book and then get more comfortable with the technology and then start to open up the, the DVAs to do more of the front lines 
uh, initial response, 24 seven, always perfect, always there. And then do call routing to the right people if Brooke can't understand the nature or intent or if somebody wants to opt out. I've had a number of dealers, Brooke dealers on the round table who started off with that overflow, if you will, overflow process, yep. uh, making the AI the second or third choice. And now within a very short, I mean, months, Brian, they've come to the realization that they want the Brooke.ai digital assistant to pick up the call the first time right out of the gate because it's that effective. Yes. And, you know, uh, I have been a fan of this product category. Uh, the other players in this category are doing a, a, a wonderful job as well. And I think uniformly, and I don't think it's just because they're trying to sell the software. The testing that I've seen is you have to trust that the DVAs are your best first line approach, meaning putting IVRs in front of a digital voice assistant that can understand any really logical request doesn't make sense. But I'm also practical. Ted, you know, people are afraid to mess up their, you know, uh, revenue stream for appointment bookings or uh, anything that could possibly hinder their customer experience. And I'm just going to tell them, look, uh, it's worse than you think. <laughs> and yeah. um, you shouldn't be worried about the DVAs hurting business. It's really just the reality of where you are today. There's a significant improvement. And, and some dealers are seeing anywhere from 30 to 50% more bookings. And they're saying, well, where's this coming from? And I'm just saying, well, these are just people that, were frustrated. Yeah, maybe they called another day. Maybe. Or maybe they went somewhere else. You know, if you're in a metropolitan area, maybe three miles down the road, there's another dealer who could do the exact same service. So uh, I think in competitive markets, the DBA is even more important. You mentioned the major metro markets. You and I grew up maybe just a few miles away from each other in metropolitan mm -hmm. New Jersey, New York. And to say the least, Brian, it's a skeptical dealer audience here. Uh, I have seen the dealer audience here who has been under some restrictions the past year, year and a half, two, two and a half years uh, with what happened in our industry, uh, who were very challenged in terms of manpower and being able to answer the phones. Uh, very reluctant initially, as you said, you know, to take on that AI and now say, you know what? I couldn't do business without it. It's that powerful and that strong, especially on the service side. Yeah, Ted, and one of the other things that uh, dealers should recognize is that proactive dealer solutions, the company behind Brooke, um, in a sense, did exactly what Apple did, right? They blew up their iTunes player for their phone, right? And, yeah. you know, I asked the executive team at Proactive, look, you're an outsourced call center, you do BDC work, um, isn't Brooke kind of cannibalizing your own business. And I love their answer. Say, no, Brian, listen, it's making it more profitable for the dealer and us. Meaning we have to staff people in the BDC. We have to encourage people who wants to keep on doing those same repetitive tasks. We want to uh, enable our outsourced call centers to do those high volume tasks, right? Like those outbound calls, right? To get people in. Um, dealers will pay more, right? For an outbound call that results in a service booking than just handling an inbound call, right? So um, what I loved about it is the combination of the Proactive Dealer Solutions call center plus Brook AI, really gives dealers the best of both worlds who want a real person there or they want help with outbound calling, but they don't want to pay, right? Dealers, you know, want to save money. They don't want to pay for the easy stuff. Let Brooke do the easy stuff. And then you could use the proactive dealer solutions call center to do those outbound uh, calls, decline service calls, uh, lapse service calls. That's where the real money yeah. is. And that's the, like you said, that's the ones that we need to be focused on and need to be using our manpower for. Um, so amazing with that. And not to mention, Brian, what about off hours? You know, when I make a service appointment, it's not typically during the, the day. It could be 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. The dealership's closed and on weekends, on Sundays, on holidays as well. 
Yeah, and 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 we can minimize. Well, you know, people aren't expecting the dealership to be open at night, and and I, I think we have to stop saying that because, you know, technology. Th think about. I mean, Ted, you and I are old enough that we would remember we'd book our tickets through a travel agent. We get paper tickets, and yes. God forbid we went to the airport without those paper tickets. We 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 were we were in big trouble, right? I mean, now we're booking tickets, complex itineraries for travel, hotels, taxi camp. I mean, everything's Everything. done twenty four seven. So if I'm a busy schedule, my check engine lights on. I believe me, at eleven o'clock at night, I want to see if tomorrow at ten o'clock I can bring that car in because I got a busy schedule. And the nice thing is that Brook AI allows me very quickly. Uh, to have a conversation, to confirm uh, the appointment, and then to receive, a, you know, a confirmation, you know, via email or text. Yeah. And I think that we we just need to stop making excuses that uh, we're the only show in town, so uh, people will put up with our antiquated processes because they need me. And lastly, it integrates with the technology we're already using, such as XTime. So many dealers are using XTime or a platform like it. Brook integrates already with that platform amazingly well. And dealers are have been using that now for 15, 20 years. So it just makes perfect sense to put the two and two together. That's right. And I think what you're going to see as more dealers hear about the uh, performance improvements and the increased revenue that a digital voice assistant is is uh, providing, they're going to be asking for other integrations to other scheduling tools. And I know uh, Product Dealer Solutions uh, tech team is actively working on a number of the more popular integrations. So um, you know how it goes. Um, money moves markets. So uh, large dealer groups who want integrations and uh, want them quickly, uh, obviously will open those doors with their vendor partners and make sure that Brooke has the access they need to uh, properly dip into uh, technician availability matrices and book uh, appointments properly. Brian Pash, last question for today. The research report that we referenced just a little bit earlier uh, that you highlighted these digital voice assistants and studied, uh, for example, Brooke and their dealers. Uh, would our audience, our fixed ops roundtable audience, be able to get access to be able to see some of the, the high points in that and some of the data? Are you going to be making that available? Uh, and if so, how and when? Great. For sure. Um, I would love your audience to take a look at what our research team has put together for Brook AI. Uh, all our research reports are available on a very easy website, brianpash.com. It's easy to remember. If you know my name, you know the website, uh, brianpash.com. And right in the menu, you'll see research and it will show uh, our uh, latest research reports. And you will see the Brook AI report there. And um, there's no cost uh, to have access to the report. Just put in your information and our um, CMS will instantly email you the PDF in full color for you and your team to share. Brian Pash, so much happening in our industry. Um, 2023 is probably going to be a little bit different year than we've maybe had in the past. And uh, I look forward to welcoming you back uh, because I think there's so much to talk about within our industry, within uh, variable and fixed, and it's really all one today. And uh, it's amazing how our industry has quickly evolved and um, continues to do so. Well, Ted, uh, looking forward to collaborating in 2023. And thanks once again for the invitation. And uh, thanks for having the opportunity for me to talk about the uh, great platform that Proactive Dealer Solutions has put together, Brook AI. And Brian, I want to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving as well. Thank you very much. Same to you. Brian Pash here today at the Fixed Stops Roundtable.